guys, so it's been a little while since I've done a Pinefin video. A big reason for that is because my screen wasn't entirely working. I had a small part over here that the touch screen wasn't working properly, and so I replaced the screen, and now I should be able to use my Pinefin more. It's actually been my daily driver since I got it in 2020, so I have been using this as a daily driver. It's not the right choice for everybody. I wanted to talk a little bit about that. The fact is, if you compare this to a similarly priced Android the carrier is subsidizing a lot of the cost, and the same with advertisers who are putting different types of adware inside some of those Androids. And so when you compare dollar for dollar the Android and the Pine phone, of course the performance is not going to be the same. Of course the battery life is not near as good in the Pine phone, but I do get a full days of battery life with this original Pine phone. On the other hand, you won't get that with the Pine phone Pro. You only get a few hours. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that. The Pine phone Pro is not ready to be a day daily driver as I've just been observing. I don't actually have one, but I do think it was a neat idea. But the original Pine phone, you know, there's so much versatility here. We can use all the scripting capabilities that we would use in a server and we can utilize that to make this various services and programs, different things that can do tasks for us. Now, you can't do something like that with Android. So if you are obsessed with Linux and customizing your system, you might like to have this on the side. I wouldn't suggest daily driver for most people because they're just not ready for it. They're not ready for that kind of commitment. It takes some getting used to for people who are addicted to Android apps. And I just wanted to give a few thoughts on it since I hadn't been able to do a decent video on the Pine phone in a while. I'm looking forward to trying some of the uh, updated operating systems, and I'll be doing videos to demonstrate some of that coming up. So wanted to talk a little bit about that. Now, with the Pine phone, if you want a computer in your pocket and you're a nerd who is obsessed with Linux like I am, it might be something you'll want to have. For me, it's the right choice, but for most people, it's not. So make sure you look around, check various people's opinions, look for critical ones, look for the negative reviews to find out if you're going to be, you know, temper your expectations. Don't just go buy it because it's the new thing on the market. I think what Pine64 has done with the Pine phone is something no one else has done. They've made it affordable, putting maximal devices in maximum hands, helping with development and bug reports in a way that no one else really can say they've done with Linux Mobile in the last few years. So that's my thought on the Pine phone. I'm going to do more videos on it. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on the Pine phone. As you can see, some of my favorite apps like the Shortwave app, 25,000 radio stations, I got Tor Browser, I got PGP, I got Dino with Omembo encryption. Anyway, that's what I got today, guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more on the Pine phone.